Within the expansive Orion constellation lies a star that has held the attention of scientists for ages. Considering Betelgeuse's peculiar activities in late 2019, marked by pronounced changes in its material flow, a dimming southern hemisphere, and a decline in surface temperature that culminated in its dimmest state by February 2020, scientists are speculating that it might be nearing its end. In today's video, we will discuss what this shocking revelation means for all of us and how dangerous the explosion of Betelgeuse's supernova is. Betelgeuse, a star nearing its twilight, the allure of the red supergiant star Betelgeuse has captivated astronomers since medieval times. We understand that this remarkable entity is in the intermediate stage of its existence. It's one of the few stars visible with a reddish-orange color to the naked eye. Betelgeuse is usually the tenth brightest star at night and is located about 650 light-years away from Earth. Though it appears bright, it gives off only a small part of its true brightness. If we could see its full glow, it would even outshine the famous Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. More than just a star, Betelgeuse occasionally sheds significant amounts of its material, creating a mesmerizing display as it releases parts of itself into the cosmos. In comparison, our Sun is much older, about 4.6 billion years old. Betelgeuse is relatively young for a star, only around 8 to 10 million years old. Its vastness is astounding, being about 764 times larger than our Sun with its reach extending almost to where Jupiter orbits in our solar system. Notably, its luminosity fluctuates more than most other prominent stars. If Betelgeuse implodes, we'll witness a brief yet spectacular flash on Earth. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has weighed in on this potential cosmic event, suggesting that Betelgeuse might have already met its explosive fate. The idea of a nearby supergiant star exploding can be unsettling for many. Yet, the scientific community is buzzing with anticipation, given that Betelgeuse is just 650 light-years away, making its grand finale a sight to behold. Once Betelgeuse emits its final beams of light, it will undergo a colossal implosion, a result of its fuel reserves dwindling past a critical point. This mesmerizing space event will be almost palpable from our planet. As Betelgeuse approaches its end, it will shine increasingly brighter due to the escalating energy within. Observers on Earth will notice its growing luminosity and size each night. For a period, Betelgeuse will outshine all other stars. This surge in brightness stems from internal chemical reactions. Some stars, especially massive ones, even undergo processes that produce heavier elements like iron towards the end of their life cycle. The internal gas and radiation pressure plummet once a star has exhausted all its gases and elements. This drop allows the star's inherent gravity to pull it inward, causing a massive implosion. During this event, a significant energy release occurs, propelling matter and gases into the cosmos, making the star momentarily outshine an entire galaxy. Will the effects of this supernova last? Could it hit Earth? Is it signaling the mass extension on our planet? What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. While the prospect of a nearby supernova may sound concerning, Betelgeuse is fortunately located at a safe distance from Earth. If Betelgeuse collapses in on itself, the sky will light up brilliantly for a brief moment. If this happens at night, it'll be like daytime for a split second. The brightness could be overwhelming during daylight, possibly causing momentary disorientation for drivers or pilots. Scientists aim to predict this event's timing to prepare. While the intense light will fade quickly, a residual glow where Betelgeuse once stood might linger for weeks or even months. Ultimately, the light will vanish, leaving behind either a neutron star or a black hole, which we won't see from Earth. This means Orion's constellation will lack one of its stars permanently. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned astrophysicist, has shared that Betelgeuse might have already met its explosive fate, unbeknownst to us. It's crucial to remember that the light we currently see from Betelgeuse took 650 years to reach us. The explosion's light, although much brighter, will also take the same time to arrive. So if we see this explosion in 2023, it would have occurred in 1373, long before any of us were born. But still, Betelgeuse has been displaying unusual behavior, 
pulsating from bright to dim twice as fast as its usual 400-day cycle. This phenomenon, known as the Great Dimming, occurred from late 2019 to early 2020. In 2019, Betelgeuse experienced a massive surface mass ejection, SME, releasing 400 billion times more mass than an average coronal mass ejection, CME, on the Sun. This SME temporarily covered some of the star's light, causing the darkening phenomenon. It is believed that a large cloud of dust released from the star's surface blocked its view, but the origin of the cloud remains unclear. Now, Betelgeuse is shining at 150% of its normal brightness and cycling between brighter and dimmer phases at 200-day intervals, which are twice as fast as its usual pattern. New optical images of the star revealed two more surprising irregularities. One part of the star looked darker than before, especially compared to how it looked at the start of the year. Also, the star got cooler by about 144 degrees Fahrenheit. From January 27th to February 13th, 2020, Betelgeuse was not as bright as it used to be. This happened a year after the star stopped throwing out stuff from its surface. This confused many scientists, and some wondered if the star was about to end its life. Betelgeuse changed its brightness every 400 days. Now, it pulsates every 200 days. Computer simulations are intended to show how Betelgeuse will continue to develop. Such new observation data change the parameters for predictions and scientific findings. The star's changes are eagerly followed on Earth every day. Scientists predict this spectacular event to happen sometime within the next 10,000 to 100,000 years. We know that Betelgeuse will explode soon, but soon is sometime within the next 10,000 to 100,000 years, says Jared Goldberg, an astrophysicist at the Flatiron Institute in New York City. Dr. Sarah Webb, an astrophysicist at Swinburne University of Technology in Australia said, it's new territory. We haven't seen this before. According to our researchers, Betelgeuse may have around 300 years of fuel left in its core and is now fusing helium into heavier elements. This transition is evident in its characteristic expansion, cooling, and reddening. Hideyuki Sayo from the Tohoku University in Japan stated, Although we cannot determine exactly how much carbon remains right now, our evolution models suggest that carbon exhaustion would occur in less than 300 years. The star's immense size is difficult to measure accurately due to its irregular shape, consisting of boiling gas bubbles covered in expelled dust clouds. Yet, Betelgeuse's behavior remains unpredictable. Isn't it amazing to think we might observe a star that might not exist anymore? How does that make you feel? We're eager to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, show your support with an astronomical thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button faster than light speed. Before you go, click the video on your screen for more thrilling space expeditions.